Hey guys, it's Blair with Revit Auto, and in this video we're going to be doing a one month review of the ZR15S from Harbor Freight Tools. Now my total conclusion is that this is a good value buy for the price that you can get. I think I picked mine up for about 300 bucks with a coupon, and you know how Harbor Freight works, they're always going to have a deal out there somewhere. So be sure to check their website and check their monthly mailer to see if you can get a hold of that. Be sure to smash that subscribe button because every single individual feature that we use on this, we're going to have a separate video for. The really cool thing that sets this apart from all the other scans tools is that it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connectivity. You can download an app on your phone called Repair Solutions 2, which we'll have another video section on for that, and that'll further allow you to get additional enhancements from your scan tool. Now all you diesel motorheads out there asking me if this can do an injector buzz test on a 6.0 power stroke, it certainly can through the Ford OEM Enhance section. We'll do another video on that as well. Overall, I can recommend this scan tool. I have the ZR13, the, the 15, and now the 15S, and they're all pretty capable scan tools for the budget that you're going with and what you might be looking for. So if you're a road mechanic, or you're a service tech, or you're just getting into the industry, or maybe you're just a shade tree guy, this is gonna be a really powerful little scan tool that you can buy. One of the things that I really wanna recommend, and it's not something that I normally do, is to read the manual cover to cover. It's a really quick, easy read. It's gonna tell you all the functions, how you can get through it, and it's gonna allow you to get super comfortable with the scan tool right away. We are going to be uploading probably once or twice a week a different vehicle that we worked on and a different problem that we found with that vehicle so that you guys can get a better understanding of what the capabilities of this little scan tool are. Now for bi-directional functionality, this is a 2004 F350 with a six liter power stroke. It does do the inject buzz test and it also allows you to do 17 different actuator tests. Eight of those being the injector disabling. When you're running the truck, you can turn off an injector and see which injector or which cylinder is not properly contributed to the vehicle running at all. It also lets you mess with your injector control pressure solenoid, which is a pretty cool functionality for testing some of your fuel system issues and your non solder issues. Now the live data on this is not entirely awesome when it is coming to wanting to see why your six liter truck's not starting. There's typically five PIDs that I wanna see, but this makes it a little bit challenging to do. But the overall cost of this tool and the bi-directional functionality of the tool makes it, I think, well worth to have. I've been keeping it in my center console, and whenever I need a small, quick scan tool to plug in, I go ahead and rock and roll with it. The other thing that's really cool about this is that the bi-directional functions also go in OEM enhanced. So different vehicles have different functionality and they're continuously adding more. This is a scan tool that they are planning to support and Harbor Freight has their own internal people in house now that are working on the ZR Pro as well. The coolest thing that I actually really like about this scan tool is that it is super fast. Whenever you have a small pocket scan tool, speed is its best feature. My larger scan tools are a little bit bulkier and they take a longer time to get through all of the systems that they have to go through and process. But on our truck here, this communicates with the TCM, the PCM, the instrument control module, the ABS control module, and that is basically everything that's on this truck. It's a pretty stripped down, based down truck. But the bi-directional functions are also pretty good. You have about 18 in your standard form. Another thing that I really like about it is that if you go ahead and power it on, there's a small little light here in the OBD2 port, as well as a scan tool has its own internal batteries. When we did the original unboxing for this, which is in a separate video, we had the case taken off and you're able to see that it has batteries in the back, which is really nice if you just want to go ahead and review some data. I work as a fleet mechanic, so I have a lot of knowledge on the Chevy, the Ford, the GMC, which is your same thing, and sometimes some Mopars get in there with the Ram van and the Ram 1500 pickup trucks. Now this scan tool has pretty good command over all of the vehicles. On the newer vehicles, you don't have as much connectivity, but it does still scan them. It just doesn't have all the modules updated yet. This is very common, and even your larger, more expensive scan tools won't have support of a brand new vehicle as of yet. But I love having this thing in my center console on my truck. It's the first scan tool that I've been grabbing last, last month, so I can do a really in thorough review video for you guys. Subscribe, follow, and leave a comment for something that you want to see as a feature in another video. I'm Blair with Revit Auto. Thanks for watching this video and as always happy motoring.